Aviation This Week is brought to you by Lavero Aviation, your aviation solutions provider. Your top story, Dart acquires Simplex Aerospace to boost aerial firefighting. Then Bell introduces its 360 Invictus concept for fair competition. And Embraer Praetor 500 receives EASA and FAA approval. Dart Aerospace, headquartered in Montreal with manufacturing in Hawkesbury, Ontario, has acquired Simplex Aerospace of Portland, Oregon. Founded 73 years ago, Simplex focuses on the manufacturing and certification of mission equipment for aerial firefighting, having worked with thousands of operators and OEMs over its history. The newly combined entity will operate under the Dart brand and have more than 320 employees in eight locations worldwide, including four manufacturing sectors. DART's acquisition will broaden and diversify its firefighting product portfolio with new product categories like belly tanks, aerial cleaning supplies, and agricultural spray systems. Led by Mark Zimmerman for the past 18 years, Simplex has more than 200 international product certifications. As an industry pioneer, Simplex introduced the first aluminum centrifugal pump designed for aerial applications in 1946. DART has more than 900 supplemental type certificates. Bell Textron on October 2nd introduced its 360 Invictus concept for the U.S. Army's Future Attack Reconnaissance Aircraft Competition, or FARA. While meeting or exceeding all requirements of the FARA contract, Bell notes its approach focuses on providing a low-risk, low-cost rotorcraft relative to the other four competitors still in the competition. For example, Bell points to the 360 Invictus rotor system, which will be based on the existing 525 Relentless rotor system which has been tested and proven at speeds in excess of 200 knots true airspeed. The U.S. Army set a FARA speed benchmark of 180 knots. Another FARA competitor, the Sikorsky S97 Raider, earlier this year reached 207 knots in level flight by leveraging Lockheed Martin's X2 technology. The 360 Invictus is expected to include a lift-sharing wing to reduce rotor lift demand in forward flight, enabling high-speed maneuverability a fly-by-wire flight control system, a combat radius of 135 nautical miles, and a 20mm cannon and integrated munitions launcher, among other future weapons. The Embraer Praetor 500 received YASA and FAA type certifications at the end of September, adding to its earlier approval in Brazil. The mid-sized jet was introduced one year ago in October at NBAA. Embraer explains the Praetor 500 surpassed its certification goals, achieving an intercontinental range of 3,340 nautical miles with required reserves and four passengers. It has the capacity to seat up to nine passengers. The jet also holds a cruise speed of 466 knots, a full fuel payload of 1,600 pounds, a takeoff distance of 4,222 feet, and an unfactored landing distance of 2,086 feet. The Praetor 500 also includes full fly-by-wire control. Embraer states the Praetor 500 is now the farthest and fastest flying mid-sized jet on the market, able to make true corner-to-corner non-stop flights in North America, from Miami to Seattle or Los Angeles to New York, as well as from New York to London, London to Dubai, and Jakarta to Tokyo, all non-stop. The Praetor 500 features the Collins Aerospace ProLine Fusion Flight Deck, and the Embraer DNA design interior. Thanks again to our sponsor, Levero Aviation, your aviation solutions provider.